The United Workers' Party, the UWP, organized a demonstration in Castries on Tuesday morning to voice their concerns and demand accountability from the government. The protest preceded a scheduled statement by Investment Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire regarding the Citizenship by Investment program. How many passports has Galaxy been given? Both under the real estate program and the housing program and the infrastructure program. How many passports has BMAX been given? Why did the CEO go to Washington, D.C.? How much money is in the escrow account? How much money has been spent on the hotel? These are basic answers that we are entitled to and that this government continues to play a charade and not to answer to the people of this country and they forget that this is still a democracy and they have an obligation to answer these basic questions. The opposition, however, is not convinced that it would receive proper answers from the investment minister. The audit um, uh, that was provided is uh, as at March 2023, and we've been asking questions as to everything that has happened after that. It's to pay close attention to the remarks of the current party, the, current, the governing party, and follow up very closely as to the I should call it excuses or the examples that they would give as to what's happening right now. A lot of persons here are frustrated and we need an, a re-election. Dr. Hilaire appeared a beat ahead of his presentation, questioning the opposition's logic. That's a bizarre thing about the opposition. They were calling for the report. Now we're delivering the report. They're saying it's late. Of course it's late. And we'll, we acknowledge it's late. And I'll explain why it is late. But I thought they wanted the report. So now we're presenting the report, they're saying, don't believe the report. But you can't ask for something and then when you get it, you then say, before you've even heard it, what is going to be said, um, that, you know, they're not accepting it. Dr. Hille has welcomed the protest, pointing out that it is a democratic right. People have a right to protest and to um, show their political views. Um, a few years ago, you couldn't, there were barricades and SSU preventing people from coming close to parliament. We don't believe in that. Um, anybody has a right to um, come out and express their views, and we, we, we have no challenge, no difficulty with it. Of course, we could have brought out a few thousand Labour Party supporters, but, you know, um, that, that, that's, that, that's nothing to worry about. The small group of protesters were also demonstrating against the government's economic policies and its management of crime. There's so much happening in the country, and, and you know, there's a lot that needs to be done in the country to ameliorate, you know, some of the ills taking place in our society. Um, St. Lucia is not doing well at all, at all, at all. And the quicker we see the back of this government, the happier that every St. Lucia will be. We no longer trust this government. Our people are dying on the streets. Our people are dying in hospitals. And we need general election. Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre responded to the opposition's demands for the dismissal of his administration. If that's the opposition, I'm in a good place. <laughs> I'm in a real good place. If that's the opposition. I thought it was a group of people who were in a church service. If that's the opposition, I'm in a good place. The UWP has promised more demonstrations as it steps up its election campaigning. For the DPS News World, I am Zid Romkulis.